Hi, good morning to one and all. So uh, today we were going to talk about congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis, a condition which is seen in the neonatal period. And uh, it's not an uncommon condition in people who practice pediatric anesthesia. Briefly about anatomy of the stomach. So um, you can see here that the stomach has a, a fundus, a fundus here, you have a body here, you have a, a pylorus, pyloric antrum, and you have the pyloric sphincter. So in pyloric stenosis, what happens is the entire pylorus is hypertrophied and you, you have a obstruction basically at the gastric outlet. So this is a condition which has a male preponderance in the ratio of 5 is to 1. For some reason, it tends to occur more commonly in the first born child. And the symptoms tend to vary depending on the degree of the hypertrophy in the pyloric muscle. And the onset of symptoms, interestingly, is only at 3 or 4 weeks after birth. Why is that? Because initially when they are born, the muscle is uh, looking normal. But with, with time, it tends to hypertrophy and cause the symptoms. Any neonatal condition uh, is associated with multiple syndromes. So you just need to be aware of that and be on the lookout for uh, when you have one abnormality, one anatomical abnormality, look for other abnormalities. That, that is a golden rule in any uh, pediatric condition. Now, what are the risk factors in this condition? You have a mother who smokes, history of erythromycin or macrolide intake during pregnancy, an obese mother or a younger mother. All these are risk factors. When it comes to fetal risk factors, very preterm, and as I said, firstborn child is more likely to have a pyloric stenosis or is more, more common to have a pyloric stenosis. But what are the symptoms you normally see? So, uh, initially, when the mother reports, uh, they say the child was regurgitating. So, this slowly moves towards a, a vomiting, which in turn becomes projectile. So, the vomiting is projectile non-bilious because the obstruction at the level of the stomach. Second is uh, you might have a child who presents a little more later than three weeks with the weight gain not as good as anticipated and the mother might say that he, she could see that sort of some kind of waves in the uh, abdomen. So that's a common classical symptoms you will see but probably the only symptom which the parents will present with is projectile vomiting. As a physician, when you examine the child, what are you likely to find? 